enzymes. Human body is a product of different chemical reactions and process. But what controls these reactions? In 1833, a French chemist was the first to discover the vital force that drove these reactions and named it enzyme. And now, enzyme, a substance that acts as a catalyst in living organisms, regulating the rate at which chemical reactions proceed without itself being altered in the process. The biological processes that occur within all living organisms are chemical reactions, and most are regulated by enzymes. Many of these reactions wouldn't take place at a perceptible rate. Enzymes catalyze all aspects of metabolism. This includes digestion of food, in which large nutrient molecules such as protein, carbohydrates, and fats are broken down into smaller molecules, the conservation and transformation of chemical energy, and the construction of cellular macromolecules from smaller precursors, many inherited human diseases such as albinism and phenylketonuria, results from a deficiency of particular enzyme. Types of enzymes the human body includes six major groups or classes of enzymes. But before I tell you about those types, we have to know first how the enzyme works. Look on key hypothesis. The substrate simply fits into active site to form a reaction intermediate. Just like the key fits its specific lock, the isn't changed here. Rather than the structure of the substrate absolutely complements the structure of the enzyme like puzzle pieces, in this model, the enzyme upon bending its substrate changes shape. The matching between an enzyme active site and the substrate isn't just like two puzzle pieces fitting together. Rather than the enzyme changes shape and binds to its substrate even more tightly, this fine tuning of the enzyme to fit the substrate is called induced fit. Type number one of the enzymes, oxidoreductases, enhance the rate of oxidation and reduction reactions. In these reactions, also called redox reactions, one of the reactants gives up a pair of electrons that another reactant gains. The electron pair donor is said to be oxidized and acts as a reducting agent, while the electron pair gainer is reduced is called the oxidizing agent. A more straightforward way of putting is that these kinds of reactions, oxygen atoms, hydrogen atoms, or both are moved. Examples include cytochrome oxidase and lactate dehydrogenase. Type number two, transferases. It's been along the transfer of groups of atoms, such as methyl, acetyl, or amino groups, from one molecule to another molecule. Acetate kinase and alanine diminase are examples of transferases. Type number three, Hydrolysis Accelerate hydrolysis reactions Hydrolysis reactions use water to split a pond in a molecule to create two daughter products, usually by affixing the OH hydroxide group from the water to one of the products and the single hydrogen atom to the other. In the meantime, a new molecule is formed from the atoms displaced by hydrogen and hydroxyl components. The digestive enzymes, lipase and saccharase, the first type, lases, enhance the rate of the addition of one molecular group to a double bond or the removal of two groups from nearby atoms to create a double bond. These act hydrolases, except that removed components is not displaced by water or portions of water. This class of enzymes includes oxalate decarboxylase and the isocitrate lase. Type number 5, isomerases, is beat up isomerization reactions. These are reactions in which all the original atoms in the reactant are retained but are rearranged to form an isomer of the reactant. Isomers are molecules with the same chemical formula but different arrangements. Examples include glucose phosphate isomerase and alanine racemase. Type number 6, ligases, also called sensitases, enhance the rate of joining of two molecules. They usually accomplish this by making use of energy derived from the breakdown of adenosine triphosphate ATB. Examples of ligases include acetyl CoA synthetases. Environmental effects on enzyme function. Active sites are very sensitive. 
They sense even the slightest change in the environment and respond accordingly. Some of the factors that affect the active site and consequently enzyme function include Temperature The suitable temperature for enzymes to function properly is 37 degrees Celsius. Increasing or decreasing the temperature above 37 affect the chemical bond in the active site making them less suited to bend substrates. Higher temperatures denaturate enzymes. pH Amino acids present in the active site are acidic or basic. Fluctuation in pH can affect these amino acids, making it hard for substrate to bind. Extreme pH values can denaturate enzymes. Voiced over the by Yusuf Walid Said. And thank you for your watching and listening this work under supervision, Dr. Heba Kamen.